uh, traders. All FX traders have a uh, bumper week of major economic announcements to, to navigate uh, with FX markets in a bit of a holding pattern ahead of that pivotal January FOMC meeting on Thursday. Adding to that, we've also got the Bank of England's policy meeting, uh, an Aussie CPI figure, also one out of Europe, and uh, also US non-fund payrolls, which are always exciting on Friday. Um, charts to watch, Aussie dollar is um, it's hit that cycle low at 65.25. Uh, and finding a bit of support there at that December lows of um, on January. Aussie dollar US has traded in a pretty tight range between that support and the uh, 66 levels. The upside of multiple attempts to push higher have been rebuffed. So this week's data looks set to test that range, starting with Aussie CPI, at a lesser extent, um, the Chinese manufacturing PMI on Wednesday. So 66 will be the level to watch. If we get a hot CPI reading and we, and we get through that and that holds the support, we could see another leg up. Uh, a cool and expected CPI, if you see that acting as uh, extra resistance and a, another down leg, down move would probably on the cards. Um, pound US uh, cables also spent the last week in a, in a chopping around in a pretty tight range. So um, price action has been contained really in a myriad of technical levels, resistance to that upside at 127.72 and support um, at the lower 2024 trend line, they're around 126.50. So at this week's uh, Bank of England meeting, the central bank is expected to hold rates steady, but uh, it will be the accompanying statement and presser where traders will be looking for clues as to when they will start cutting rates, which will get the uh, the repricing of the effects and should get the market moving. Um, dollar index, DXY, is, is coming off a choppy week there um, with a pivotal FOMC meeting on Thursday ahead and always market moving non-farm payroll on Friday should get that uh, that um, instrument moving there. 2024 events in DXY has been capped by that resistance at the 200-day moving average along with the July lows, October high 50% FIB level at around 103.55. Um, the Fed is widely expected to hold rates steady at this meeting with futures only pricing at about a 2% chance of a cut, but it'll be the messaging regarding cuts going forward, especially the March meeting where there's a 50-50 um, chance of a cut priced in. So that should really see some volatil volatility on that figure as uh, US dollar moves around to the repricing of the rates markets. Um, so 103.55 will be that level to watch for the next move in dollar uh, DXY, whether it's, it turns into a support level, we'll see another leg higher or resistance level, could see another leg lower there.